If you're in a rush to finish up your Christmas shopping, and who isn't, have we got some help for you. A shark by your side, the human kind, to make sure you don't get bit. And it's none other than Shark Tank's very own Robert Hershevik. That's right, Elizabeth, the guy who's bought and sold almost more than anyone else, uh, filling you in on the mind games that some salespeople use to close that holiday deal, and in the process, teaching you how to shop like a shark. With ABC's Hannah Storm, he gives us a master class tonight in how not to get fooled. Stand on that T mark over there and look at the camera. What exactly are the tricks of the trade when it comes to selling? 2020 decided to find out, dropping by this New York job fair. Here's your microphone. To find contestants. Five. One, two, three, four, five. For a challenge from Shark Tank's Robert Herjavec. I can teach anybody to sell anything with one caveat if they want to change their life. What makes you an expert in selling? Everything I know about sales I've done wrong, I got burnt, and I have to recover. Now I know how to do it. All right, kids, here we go. Stand by. This is to put him to the test, we started by asking folks at the job fair to step forward and sell us this pen. It has ink. I'm talking a pen that won't blow away with a stiff breeze. It's hot. The Kardashians are carrying this pen. Is there a type of personality that makes a better salesperson? I don't think so. Great salespeople come in all shapes and sizes and colors. So you don't have to be an extrovert, necessarily? I think you can learn that quality. When he's not on Shark Tank, the multimillionaire runs a successful IT security company. But nothing came easily. His parents escaped communist Yugoslavia when he was just eight. It was a difficult transition for the family. And Robert witnessed the dark arts of salesmanship up close. When you were young, a salesperson took advantage of your mother. He sold us a vacuum cleaner. The top of the line Rolls Royce of vacuum cleaners, and we lived in this tiny little apartment. I hated the fact that somebody took advantage of my family. On the flip side of it, though, it fascinated me that some guy could come in and sell my mother something she really doesn't need. And I said, that's an art. It could be used for good, and it could be used for bad. Get yourself a red pen for the holidays. But can the art be taught to anybody? This is something you need to stand out. Just 99 cents. One ninety-nine. Would you like to buy it and also write my number? In the end, six pen pitchers stood out and became our sales challenge semifinalists. My name is Lauren. Jordan. It's Brittany. It's Monica. Steven. It's Debbie Renee. Time to meet the master. Good morning, everybody. I'm Robert. Welcome. Our shark leads a sales boot camp for the contestants. You have to know your product. Don't lie. Crappy salespeople are liars. Listen more than you talk. Simple is better. You can't be successful unless you master sales. With anything? With anything. I mean, think about the president. Good to see you, man. He has to get Congress to see his way. What does a student who just graduated have to do? He or she has to sell himself. You know what sales is? Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Looking at somebody in the whites of their eyes and getting them to do something. And that's where the mind games come in, often without the customer even realizing what's happening. A great salesperson is a chameleon. They have to change colors and stripes depending on who they're selling to. And it all begins with the look on your face. What is the absolute most critical thing to do when you're selling something? Smile. Be friendly. Damn. Very good. That's it. You got to smile. You've got to be engaged, right? Engagement is one thing. Closing is another. For that, Robert reveals five classic techniques. These are the secrets of the sale. First, the standing room only close, where the seller tells the customer that the product is in great demand. Jordan, close me using the standing room close for this board. We've had people coming in by the dozen for that board. The best time close, getting a customer to commit by making them believe there's no time like the present. Steven, what's the best time close? There's no better time to purchase this board than right now. Right now. You've got to create a sense of urgency right now. Great. The artisan clothes, emphasizing the art and craftsmanship. Use the artisan clothes for me on the board. 
The board was made by a team of professional board makers in... That's right. It was made in Italy by Italy. a team of professional <laughs> board makers. Look at the quality of it. Look at the depth of it. Not many boards are this good, huh? Huh? The compliment close, pointing out the customer's great qualities. Debbie Renee, by the way, you look great today. I love your hair. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sell me this board with a compliment. You look good standing behind that. Well, I've been working out. Yeah, you look really good. <laughs> I don't like to use this unless it's genuine. I think people pick up on it when you're fake. Finally, the concession clothes, offering something in return for buying the product. Concession. Lauren, give me a concession close for this board. Once you buy this board, you get a free easel. You get a free easel. As a consumer, how should you be aware of these tactics? It doesn't matter what technique you're being sold with, as long as you accept the fact somebody is always selling you something. And don't let somebody get you to do something that you don't want to do. Steven, let's go. As boot camp comes to an end, our shark will pick only three to move on to the final round. First person that I picked was uh, Brittany. You have a great personality, you seem naturally happy, and you have a great smile. So welcome, Brittany. Next person I picked was Lauren. I like the way that you were presenting. And the third person I picked was Stephen. He's a little quiet, but there's a subtle confidence. Now it's time to send our three finalists into battle to see if they can apply what they've learned. And what will they be trying to sell? These ugly sweaters from a company Robert liked so much, he invested in it. So here's my offer to you. 100,000 for 10%. We accept your offer. Excellent, oh, guys, okay. thank you. Up next. Come on over, see our holiday sweaters. Nice we throw our finalists into the deep end. I think this would be great for you. But they won't be swimming alone. Tell them about the sale. The shark is in their ear. Will the customers bite? Do Don't let no, 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 no. Stay with us.